Every year, thousands of people from all over the world show their best abilities, perseverance and creativity, wanting to break the Guinness World Records. But it doesn't always work out. Today, you'll see these attempts with your own eyes. This is Infinity. And today, you'll see crazy Guinness records that no one's ever been able to break. Let's go! The Longest Car Jump The record for it belongs to the American racer Tanner Faust, who already in 2011 jumped 331 feet and so far no one's been able to break him. Gerlaine Shakarit thought that won't do and decided to surpass this result. For those who don't know, Gerlaine Shakarit is a true extreme winter sports and racing star. He became the free drive world champion several times. Ordinary races eventually bored him and Gerlaine began to do something more extreme and dangerous. So in 2013, he made the first ever backflip into a mini countryman car. Who, if not this man, would seem to surpass the current record? Shkaret wanted to make the longest jump in 2014. According to his own calculations, the car had to accelerate to 99 miles per hour and fly more than 328 feet off the ramp. Carrot tested his car at different distances, and everything was successful. But then, when day X came, the thing everyone was so afraid of happened. And no, strangely enough, Shakarit made it to his destination. There was nothing wrong with that, except the car flipped over more than once. Apparently, the thrill seeker was born under a lucky star because he was left relatively unscathed with only minor injuries. Tightrope Walkers how many stories, movies, cartoons, and short stories are associated with these people? Walking the rope seems so easy and at the same time so dangerous and difficult. The record, by the way, belongs to a Frenchman named Philippe Petit. This man made a full-fledged show back in the 20th century. The thrill seeker dared to walk on a rope between two high-rise buildings in New York. For this case, he ordered a special rope, which on the same day was stretched between the notorious Twin Towers. At what height was he to walk? Well, it was as high as 1,312 feet. And he did it without any safety net, relying only on his coordination and stress resistance skills. I should say at once that no one was able to stop him physically. Of course, with the exception of Philippe and a few other people, no one knew about this stunt. One can only guess what emotions the guy was experiencing. When you're up in a bird's eye view, all alone, on a rope, and somewhere in the distance you can hear the shouts of the audience supporting you, something unforgettable, something you can remember frame by frame with just a little bit of effort," Philippe said. Of course, such a story was too sweet and desirable to remain untouched. There have been attempts in history to break this record, which unfortunately didn't end well. I'll tell you about one of them. The man who attempted the same trick was called Tancred Malay. He was Philippe's compatriot. He decided to do it high above the ground between two balloons. Fortunately, as I said, it didn't end well. But that's what happens when you perform a stunt at the highest level of difficulty without the right to make a mistake. On Ice Speed World Record This record was set quite a long time ago, in 1981. It belongs to Sammy Miller, a man who managed to speed up to 247 miles per hour on the ice. It took place in the Lake George area. And again, the desire to break the record from another compatriot forced him to go to the state of Wisconsin on recently frozen Bear Lake. That man was Kurt Anderson. He and his team assembled not a car but a real monster that was sure to break the current record. They named the transport simple Arctic Arrow. To successfully complete the mission, Anderson and his team installed skids on the transport like on a sled. They replaced the wheels. The team did a test run and everything turned out okay. They got the men together, started the main stage, but something didn't go according to plan. Arctic Arrow went into a snowdrift and the rocket literally flipped over after the start. Miraculously, Kurt survived and got away with nothing more than a fright, which can't be said about his sled. It underwent a lot of deformations. We can only hope that Kurt and his team will fix the sled or make a new one, correct their mistakes, and make another record attempt. Diving Underwater All that each of us did was jump from a small springboard into the pool, the sea, or somewhere else that there was water. It's a fun and harmless thing to do if you follow the right technique. But have you ever tried to dive deeper? Personally, I have. And I'll tell you, you almost immediately feel the pressure in your head and you want to swim out. 
Apparently, these people who dive are not from our planet because one of them was able to get to a depth of 407 feet without any flippers or even scuba gear. This is truly an impressive achievement and speaks volumes about the limitless possibilities of people. A man named Nicholas Mavoli volunteered to try to break the current record. He dived under the water. The first time, he was accompanied by his assistants, and afterwards, Nicholas swam alone. After the initial stage, nothing bad happened. Everything was fine from the outside. However, when the total time under the water exceeded three and a half minutes, people began to suspect something was wrong. It turned out that the man stopped at only 243 feet and swam back. After returning to the surface, he was fine for the first time, but pretty soon Nicholas lost consciousness. The paramedics tried to help him, but unfortunately, they couldn't. People don't just try their hand at biathlon or other ski races. They also enjoy long walks, or more specifically, whole-day races with only one goal – to ski as much as possible in the allotted 24 hours. The current such record belongs to a Finnish athlete named Han Meinpa. In 2018, the athlete managed to travel as much as 293 miles in a 24-hour period. A Norwegian skier named Daniel Strand, who's participated in similar races many times, decided to break the Finns' record. Daniel set himself a goal of 295 miles. The skier felt excellent for the first day and a half. Nothing gave any failures. His body worked like clockwork, and the man could already feel the taste of victory. But when he had a little more than two hours left before the end of the race, his strength finally gave out. The man was immediately taken to the nearest hospital where he was treated. Doctors pumped 2.1 gallons of fluid from his muscles and lungs. He never managed to break the record, although the dream was so close. But the main thing is that he tried and survived. If scuba diving, marathon skiing, and car jumping are more or less adequate, then what we'll show next is sure to blow your mind. Keep watching to see the weirdest, most extreme, and unbelievable world records that will amaze you. Backflip This trick is known and probably seen by all of you. Of course, many people would like one day to master this trick and surprise all their friends and relatives. But in fact, even a standard backflip is something difficult and traumatic. Zama Mofokeng from Thambisa, South Africa, listens and laughs, defying the laws of physics and stuff like that. This guy was able to do a backflip on one arm 36 times in a row. According to the man, he's been practicing gymnastics since he was a little boy. He first saw a backflip from guys in the yard and decided to learn this beautiful trick. He liked backflips so much that it eventually led him to this kind of world record. By the way, the first record of this kind was also set by him. That time, the guy flipped 24 times. It took some time and he broke the record with 34 jumps. Then he broke the record again with 36 jumps, waiting for Zama to do 40 backflips in a row. Remember the moment when you were going downhill on rollerblades, a bicycle, or another vehicle? The speed seemed unrealistically fast and you could barely keep up? Well, apparently it seemed that way to all of us, but not to an American longboarder named Kyle Wester. This thrill seeker managed to accelerate his board to 89 miles per hour. Just think of it. This speed is far ahead of the previous record holders, who reached 81 miles per hour. The momentous event took place in the United States on a hilly road in Colorado. The next record is simply mind-boggling. A diver who deliberately went to the goal of writing his name in history managed not to breathe underwater for 24 minutes and 37 seconds. This is longer than an episode of one of your favorite TV series or cartoons. No less interesting in this story is the fact that the record holder is not a young guy who received a gift of nature in the form of amazing lungs. He was a 56-year-old diver who'd spent the last three years training. The diver's secret is that when he goes under the water and finds himself in complete silence, he tries to hear the sound of his heart. The beating calms him down, and he spends the rest of his time in silence. Returning to the subject of age, the divers of the opinion that the years only do him good. It's thanks to his experience that he's gained over the years that he doesn't panic at critical moments and makes balanced, deliberate decisions. Jenga This is the name of the well-known game consisting of wooden blocks. They're all kind of a tower from which you have to take out one piece at a time and put it on top. 
The loser is the one who breaks the construction during this trick. This is the kind of game in which, more than anywhere else, you need a sense of balance and concentration. If up to this point you thought you were the master of Jenga, you probably change your mind. Meet Kevin. This guy was able to stack 1,512 blocks on top of each other, creating a single sculpture without glue or other tricks. Just gravity, nerves of steel, and a steady hand, and hundreds of hours of practice under his belt. This guy is definitely not afraid of bees. So much so that he decided to cover himself with 139 pounds of bees in one Chinese town. The footage shows the man standing motionless while all they do is dump more and more buckets of bees on him. They envelop him in a matter of seconds, and after a minute of this process, the Chinese man's face is no longer visible. This record is not only crazy, but it's also very difficult. First of all, the insects add weight to you. It's not easy to resist such a load. Secondly, it's a huge stress to the body because the bees can bite. And thirdly, you must not faint from fear. Somehow, the Chinese coped with all these tasks and set a new world record. I don't think anyone wants to repeat it. Now I'm going to tell you a slightly unusual and in some ways even strange and ridiculous, but at the same time interesting record. Its essence is that the guy visited 56 different pubs in 24 hours. The previous record, by the way, was 51 pubs. IT specialist Gareth Murphy decided to enter the Guinness Book of World Records in February 2022. He picked the right record and started mapping the pubs to see exactly which way to go. Surprisingly, it didn't work out the way he had planned. Some pubs simply didn't work or open later, so everything was left to the mercy of fate. The main condition was the following. Gareth had to record a video of his go-round and get a signature from an employee of each pub. That's exactly what happened. The guy from Wales drank more than 2.6 gallons of alcohol in a day and went home with a sense of accomplishment. I wonder if he celebrated his record with some more drink when he got home. That's all, guys. Which of these records could you easily break? For example, the record with the pub sounds pretty easy. Anyway, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.